Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to solve the practice problem second largest. So first we would understand the question and then we would move forward towards the solution. So let's start. So basically today we are solving the question second largest. So basically in the question itself you can understand you do not need to find the largest number but you need to find the second largest number. So basically in this we are given an array for example we are given an array okay. So what we need to do is we need to find the second largest element over here. See I can clearly see this is the largest so, if it is the largest, then the second largest is this. So, what do we need to do? We need to give the output as 7. Okay, so we need to give the output as 7 and this is the question. So, what do we need to do is, one minute, let me clean the screen a little. So, basically, first step would be that I would arrange this array. Okay, I would sort out this array. Okay. So that it is easier for me to find the element, okay, to find the second largest element. So the first step is I would sort the array. So it would become 1, 2, 3, 7 and 10, okay. Now if you remember carefully, if I have a data type list, okay. So if I have a data type list, then I can take the index values as minus 1 minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, right? So basically first I would convert this array into a list data type. After converting it into a list data type, then it is very easy for me, right? Because I can clearly see at minus 2 index I would find the second largest element, right? Because minus 1 would be the largest, so minus 2 would obviously would be the second largest, right? So what would I do? I would just clearly state all the subjects. So the first thing is that you would take the data type as list. Second thing would be that you would sort it out. Third would be that you would just take the index position as minus 2. So like this in these three steps you would solve the question. So I hope the concept is clear to all of you and now let's move forward towards the code part. So let me clean this up. Now guys we need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal you need to choose difficulty as school so that you can find this problem. After choosing it you need to find the problem second largest. Okay. So now once I found the problem let me solve. So let's wait. Okay, so see the question is loaded. Let's read the statement. Given an array of size n, print second largest element of from an array. Okay, so you need to print the second largest element and we would code over here. Okay, so we would code here. Now let me clean the screen and let's start. Okay, so the first thing like we discussed is we need to convert it into list, right? So what I would do is I would write x, x is the variable equal to list. Because I want it to be converted in form of list, right? One minute list. Then circular brackets. Now in this I need to say set, okay? Set array, okay? So basically over here I am stating that I need to change this to list, okay? So this is an explicit conversion, okay? So this is an explicit conversion, okay? So this is how you need to do it. Now this is the first step. Now the second step is I need to sort it, right? Now just assume a situation where you have only one element in the array, okay? You only have one element in the array. So if you have only one element in the array, so this element itself would be the second largest, right? Because we do not have any other element, right? So if I have only one element in the array, then that element itself would be the second largest element, right? So basically we have two situations when we have more than one element, right? When we have more than one element and the second situation is when I only have one element, right? So we would use if else to solve this part. 
Now let's move forward. One minute. So now, like I stated, if the length, length of what? If the length of my array, the length of my given array, that is x now, right? Because I converted it into list, is greater than one. That means it is more than one. More than one elements are present here. Okay. If it is more than one elements, then I need to sort it, right? Because if I have multiple elements, then only I can sort them, right? So what would I write? I would just write x dot sort. Circular brackets, so it would sort my array. Okay, now after sorting the array, I just need to print minus two index value, right? So what I would do is I would say return. Okay, so I need to return with what? I need to return with the value that is present at the index position minus two, right? So I would just do x square brackets minus two. Okay, so I would just do x square brackets minus two. Now this is the situation when I have more than one element. But what happens when I have only one element? So that element itself would be the answer. So that would be the else condition. So let me go back over here. I would write else. Okay. So in this else, I would specify return. Okay. In this return, I would return with x minus one, right? Because that itself is the last element. So basically, I checked for more than one elements, and I even checked if only one element is present, right? Now, what do I need to do? I need to click on compile and run to check if my code is correct or not. So let me click on compile and run. It is getting compiled. We need to wait, right? Okay, so it has been compiled. Let me check if my answer is correct or not. See, my output is matching with the expected output. So now I can click on submit. So let me wait. It's getting submitted. Okay. So, okay. So I think I am facing some issue in one place. So let me correct it. One minute. Now let me just check it out over here. Okay. So one minute. This is where we are facing the error. So what I would do, I would just write minus one. Okay, so I would just return minus one rather than x minus one, right? Because only one element is present. So now let me click on compile and run. Let's wait. Okay, compilation is done. My output is matching with the expected output. So let me submit it again. Let's wait. It is getting submitted. Okay, so see the problem is solved successfully, and this is how you solve the question second largest. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's session, and it was a helpful session for all of you. If you guys have enjoyed today's session, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Thank you.